Good evening. Today is Thursday, November 22nd, 2012, and you're watching the Jessa Channel on YouTube. I'm Jessa, and today is Thanksgiving in America, so for those of you who celebrate, happy Turkey Day. I'm here outside Riverwood with Vilya and Joran. Hello, little foxy. And we are on the hunt. We are outside Riverwood. I have taken the time to really make sure my favorites are all set up. I have my harvest spell ready. I have my clairvoyant spell ready to show us the way. Um, we're all geared up. We have our leather backpack. And let me show you here. Got our arrows on, our leather backpack, our bow to the ready when we need it. And camping kit set up and crafting supplies stored up and I've done all that stuff off camera so let's hope for an episode where just for once just for once I don't forget something let's aim for that let's aim high today <laughs> oh I think the reason why I started let's playing is because mostly I just amuse myself <laughs> basically I mean let's just be real about it I just find myself somewhat amusing <laughs> so I decided to record it <laughs> Let other people be amused. Mala had a great sleep. Um, our camping tit, camping, did I just say camping tit? I did. Camping tent <laughs> um, worked out really well. And I'm just taking a look at the view here and the beautiful sky. I noticed in some of my earlier videos that my sky in game was looking really beautiful but in the videos all you were seeing was a lot of white and that's because I am still learning how to do post-processing for things um, for my videos in uh, Sony Vegas so Mala how are you feeling today oh lovely it's a fresh air day I had a good breakfast we had chicken eggs and everything is lovely and everything smells fresh and fine Yes. There is a man there. Oh, there he goes. I don't know what he was doing. So, you're not running along, Mala? No, no. I am feeling that it is a good time to walk and not to be in a hurry. And I have my cloak. And I am warm. And I have some snowberries in my bag. And so I am feeling very much like just having a little walk. Oh, look at the view. It's beautiful. Look at this. Oh, and Riverwood, it is so quaint. Do you know, Vilya, that perhaps when we retire and we are old creaky ladies, we can buy a little hut here, right up against the river, and we can fish. Do you like? Yeah? I like. Okay, let us continue. I am trying to, as they say, geared the loins. I'm sorry, what did you say, Mala? Geared the loins, you know, this phrase, it means, you know, to feel very strong on the inside. Uh, geared the loins. Yes, that is what I said. Okay, and what does it mean? Well, like I said, it means to feel strong on the inside, and so that is what I am doing. You know, it occurs to me, very much so, that this is not a road. Huh. Oh, is this the road here? Mala, perhaps you should consult your map. You've spent so much time taking care to have all the supplies ready for a long wilderness trip, if we need to have a long wilderness trip. But maybe we ought to just check our map and make sure we're going in the right direction. This is a good idea. I like this idea. Yes, we are going along the road. Um, well, I think, let me, can I zoom in here? I think we are going along the road, yes, that we want to go on. It looks right to me, Mala. You're at least pointing in the, in the basic general direction. <laughs> so let's keep walking and see what happens. Yes, you can say brave things like this because you are not the one in this world who will be attacked if we end up lost in the woods and frozen. Uh, 
Mala, if you got attacked, it would be hurt me almost as much as it would hurt you. I don't think it would. I think that is what they call the bull pucky. <laughs> bull <laughs> the bull pucky? <laughs> yes, the nonsense. The big fat lie. <laughs> the bull pucky. Mala, you're funny. Well, you know, I figure if I am going to die, I might as well have a cheerful face on. <laughs> okay, Mala. <laughs> so we are following the road here, and where we're headed to, for those of you just jumping into this episode, we are headed off to Orphan Rock to retrieve a special type of knife that we can use on the tree in Elder Gleam Sanctuary. And we're kind of um, taking care of two. Oh. It's getting cold. Don't you get thirsty from walking. I do. Where are you, Villa? Where did you go? You are talking to me? Oh, there you are. Villa, are you thirsty? I am too. Let me see. Perhaps a drink. Mm, oh. A glass of milk. I'll just have a little swig from my bottle. Oops, I dropped that. I didn't mean to. Get back here, little bottle. <laughs> Mala, I think that was what they call operator error. That was my fault, in other words. <laughs> yes, for an operator who has to only push the keys, you really make a big mess sometimes. Mala, you are feeling quite sprightly this morning. Very mouthy. <gasps> Careful, Mala. Here comes somebody. We never know who it is. Good morning. Yes. Oh. Hello. I only wanted to know what you are doing upon the road. It is a good morning to you. All right, then. Thank you. Hello. Yes? Oh, who are you? And where did you go? Oh, hello, there you are. <laughs> oh. What is your name? Your name is Beth. Are you traveling far? You are a very quiet type. Oh, what do I have? You wish to barter? Let's see. Oh. You have a number of things available. Oh, you have a bard's loot. Oh, but we still cannot afford it, and we can't buy it until we buy our little home on wheels. How do you say that is called? It's called a caravan, Mala. A caravan. Like a gypsy caravan. Yes, we are going to buy a gypsy caravan, so we cannot afford much. But let's see what you have. You have some... Oh, you have some things we could use, but we only have 31 gold. Ah. Oh, well. Oh, good oh, day to God. you, Beth. Oh, she was friendly, wasn't she? It's so nice to meet a friendly woman upon the roads, walking along by herself. We women, we have to stick together. V, you watch out for the little fire on the road. Ah, uh, Mala, it's just such a joy to, to uh, spend time with you. You're just <laughs> such a, I don't know, a kick in the pants. <laughs> That's what I would say. Oh, you have your little opinions. <laughs> a real joy. So as we're walking along, um, I know I'm not getting very far, but I just want to double check. Yes, we are walking along in the right way. What we're looking for, Mala, is we're looking for a road going off to the right. Okay, I shall keep my eyes peeled open for this road. And you might want to continue to try your harvest spell, Mala. Oh, that is a good idea. Here's my clairvoyant spell in this hand. This is a neat little spell that I have recently learned, which allows me to go like this, and maybe it shows me the way. Except, it is not showing me the way to Ofren Rock, and I don't know why. I don't know why either, Mala. In fact, I'm having a tr trouble with um, the map markers showing up. 
even when I have the compass compass on and I have the um, the quest you know here in my journal highlighted um, it doesn't show me so we are um, we're retrieving the nettle bane which from what we understand is in orphan rock um, and I should probably double check that to make absolutely sure that we're not going in the wrong direction but I'm pretty sure that's where we are and I, I'm gonna open up the map then the journal and then click show on map and it's pointing me to this orphan rock place so that's where we're heading and if that's not the right way then we shall have plenty of adventures as we get there and find out that it's the wrong place <laughs> I'm not too fussed about not having map markers because um, I didn't really intend to use them anyway. Uh, I figured we would just do our best and get lost if we got lost. You're casting your harvest spell. Ooh! Yes, I got snowberries. I'm getting better at this spell so that I can tell what it is I have cast. And I mean, what it is I, I have caught. You. Vinya is suggesting that we just go and kill something. Like what, Vilya? Oh my goodness, you are a woman to be afraid of. In fact, I'm very glad that you are my sister and friend or I would be more scared. Oh, good morning. Whoops. That's more operator error right there. That's me not knowing what to... I'm waiting. Oh, you are a merchant. I keep cl clicking on this as if I can afford to buy something. <laughs> oh, but we have only 31 gold. Oh, a spell for calming so that things do not wish to attack us. I would like this very much. Yes, well. Thank you. I'll take my leave then. Yes, and mine as well. Good day! Mala, do you know any traveling songs? Oh, I do. But, sadly, I don't have a good voice and I cannot sing very well. Well, that's you and me both, Mala. <laughs> I did not get the musical talent in my family. Everyone else in my family has great musical talent except for me. <laughs> but I can sing a little road song. I can hum a bit. We are traveling on the road, way away. We are traveling on the road. Say hey, hey. Villa, you sing along, eh? We are traveling on the road. Hey, hey, hey. We are traveling on the road. Hey, hey, hey. On our way we go today, we are traveling on the road, hey, hey, hey. Ah, <sighs> that was pretty good, Mala. For a person who can't sing, you have a pretty good voice. Now, if I had sung that, Mala, it would have sounded something like, We are traveling on the road, hey, hey, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, no? No, that is not beautiful. Very much no. <laughs> okay, Mala. We're at a crossroads. Check the map. And it we need to turn and go along this road. And Mala, you're going to find that you need to do more of the... I think that's this way. You're going to need to, to be very good woods woodswoman. I used to think Tivri was about stealing from the rich and giving to the poor. But here in Skyrim, the Thieves' Guild is just a bunch of thugs. Vilya is mentioning that the Thieves' Guild is just a bunch of thugs. Um, and I don't know that for sure. And Mala was thinking about joining the Thieves' Guild. I don't know. I don't know if I want to be a thief. I think I want to be a mage. I think I want to do things by magic. And then learn that if I have to hurt someone, I want to do it only with my bow, as much as possible, and do it with one thwunk, like so, 
so they go down and they don't suffer. Mala, that's what you want to do? It's what I just said. Are you not listening to me? All right, Mala. Fine. <laughs> okay, so you want to be a magician who also uses a bow, but you want to be more like a um, a support musician, a musician, magician. Yes? I mean, someone who uses magic for things that help, like healing and like um, opening locks and other things like that. You don't want to be a mage who sets people on fire or turns them to ice. I wish you could sit down somewhere. I agree. Well, uh, I think you're right. I think I wish to try and use magic for good and for the betterment of life. And, oh, I'm glad we looked. We are going the wrong way. For the betterment of life. Spells. Give me an axe any day. Yes, I think I like this idea. Like this harvest spell, for example, that I am doing. It's so lovely. Oh, more snowberries. It feels so good to be able to use my magic to, I don't know, save time. And it is helping me become a better magician. And... Oh, there's a place up here. We must be very careful. I'm not happy fighting the Four Sword. They are also people of Skyrim. Just wish we could all live in peace. I wish to put that away now because I want to see what is up here. Let me get my bow at the ready. Oh, excuse me. Really? Just because he is wearing a bunch of steel and he looks like he thinks he is a big kitty cat, he is not. Some people, they are so rude. Ah, where was I? Yes, we are prepared. I am following close behind this man because I figure that he... He can be sort of a, a protection for us. If anything attacks us, he may actually come to our aid. He looks like someone who is not afraid to fight. This episode is presented in parts. To see the next part, click on the next annotation in the top right corner of the video. If the next part has not been uploaded yet, it will be tomorrow. So if you want to see it, subscribe. Get every new Jessa Channel video right in your email inbox. Subscribe, then click also email me for each new upload. And thanks for watching.